The Hedgehog was a forward-throwing anti-submarine weapon that was used during the Battle of the Atlantic in the Second World War. The device, which was developed by the Royal Navy, fired up to 24 spigot mortars ahead of a ship when attacking a U-boat. It was deployed on convoy escort warships such as destroyers and corvettes to supplement the depth charges. As the mortar projectiles employed contact fuses rather than time or barometric fuses, detonation always occurred directly against the hull of a submarine making it more deadly than depth charges which relied on damage caused by hydrostatic shock waves. Statistics show that in WWI out of 5,174 British depth charge attacks there were 85.5 kills, a ratio of 60.5 to 1. In comparison, the Hedgehog made 268 attacks for 47 kills, a ratio of 5.7 to 1. Development The Hedgehog, so named because the empty rows of its launcher's spigots resembled the spines of a hedgehog, was a replacement to the unsuccessful Fairly Mortar that was trialed aboard HMS Whitehall in 1941. Although a failure, the Fairly was designed to fire depth charges ahead of a ship when attacking a submarine. This principle of forward firing projectiles was considered viable. It was from this, secret research undertaken by the Directorate of Miscellaneous Weapons Development led to the development of the Hedgehog. The weapon was a multiple spigot water or spigot discharger, a type of weapon developed between the wars by Lieutenant Colonel Stuart Blacker, R.A. The spigot water was based on early infantry trench mortars. The spigot design allowed a single device to fire warheads of varying size. The propelling charge was part of the main weapon and worked against a rod set in the base plate which fitted inside a tubular tail of the bomb. This principle was first used on the Blacker Bombard 29mm spigot mortar and the later PI-80 anti-tank weapon. The adaptation of the Bombard for naval use was made in partnership with Mir, C under Major Millis Jeffress who had taken Blacker's design and brought it into use with Army. The weapon fires a salvo of 24 bombs in an arc, aimed to land in a circular or elliptical area about 100 feet in diameter at a fixed point about 250 yards directly ahead of the attacking ship. The mounting initially was fixed but was later replaced by a gyro-stabilized one to allow for the rolling and pitching of the attacking ship. The system was developed to solve the problem of the target submarine disappearing from the attacking ship's ASDIC when the ship came within the sonar's minimum range. Due to the speed of sound in water, the time taken for the ping echo to return to the attacking ship from the target submarine became too short to allow the human operator to distinguish the returning audible echo from that of the initial sound pulse emitted by the sonar, the so-called instantaneous echo, where the output sound pulse and returning echo merge. This blind spot allowed the submarine to make evasive maneuvers undetected while the ship was still out of range for depth charge attack, the submarine being effectively invisible to the sonar as the ship came within the sonar's minimum range. The solution was a weapon mounted on the foredeck that discharged the projectiles up and over the carrying ship's bow, to land in the water some distance in front of the ship while the submarine was still outside the sonar's minimum range. History Hedgehog entered service in 1942. Carrying a torpex charge weighing 16 kilograms, each mortar had a diameter of 18 centimeters and weighed about 29.5 kilograms. The projectiles were angled so they would land in a circular shape with a diameter of 40 m about 180 m ahead of a stationary ship. The projectiles would then sink at about 7 meters per second. They would reach a submerged U-boat for example at 200 feet in under 9 seconds. If one struck the submarine, it was hoped the subsequent explosion would trigger all the other bombs to explode as well. Hedgehog remained in use as anti-submarine weapon until the end of the war. Initial success rates, of about 5% were only slightly better than depth charges. The results were blamed on crew inexperience and low confidence in the weapon. However, after an officer from the DMWD was sent to Londonderry Port, where the convoy crews were based, with better training and chef-wide talks on examples of successful hedgehog attacks, the kill rate improved considerably. By the end of the war, statistics showed for every five attacks made by hedgehog resulted in a kill. In response to this new deadly threat to its U-boats, 
the Kriegsmarine brought forward its program on homing torpedoes in 1943. These could be fired at greater distances from a convoy. After running straight for a predetermined distance, an internal guidance system would take over guiding it to a target. In late 1943 the Royal Navy introduced Squid. This was a three-tubed mortar that launched depth charges. Initially it was used as a single weapon, but when this failed to be successful, it was upgraded to the double squid that consisted of two launchers placed in parallel. In 1955 this system was upgraded to the three-barreled limber that launched 400 pounds minol charges. Equals variants equals, the United States produced a rocket version of Hedgehog called Mousetrap, then Weapon Alpha as a replacement for both. Still, Hedgehog remained in service with the United States Navy into the Cold War until both Hedgehog and the less satisfactory Weapon Alpha were replaced by ASROC. The Australian Army adapted the Marine Hedgehog into a land-based seven-shot launcher that could be mounted on the back of Matilda tanks. From 1949, a copy of Hedgehog was produced in the USSR as MBU-200, developed in 1956 into MBU-600 with increased range of 600 meters. Operational usage, the launcher had four cradles, each with six launcher spigots. The firing sequence was staggered so all the bombs would land at about the same time. This had the added advantage of minimizing the stress on the weapon's mounting, so that deck reinforcement was not needed, and the weapon could easily be retrofitted to any convenient place on a ship. Reloading took about three minutes. The Hedgehog had four key advantages over the depth charge. An unsuccessful attack does not hide the submarine from sonar. When a depth charge explodes it can take 15 minutes before the disturbance can settle down enough that sonar becomes effective. Many submarines escape during the time after an unsuccessful depth charge attack. Since hedgehog charges only explode on contact, if they miss, the submarine can still be tracked by sonar. The depth of the target does not need to be known. Proximity weapons need to be set for the target's correct depth to be effective. Contact fuse charges do not have that limitation. In addition, any explosion indicates a hit. The weapon gives no warning of the attack. Until depth finding sonar became available, there was a dead period during the final moments of the attack when the attacker had no knowledge of what the target was doing. U-boat commanders became adept at sharp changes of direction and speed at these moments, thus making the attack less accurate. Ahead thrown weapons such as Hedgehog did not give the target the necessary warning of when to dodge. A direct hit by one or two Hedgehog bombs was usually sufficient to sink a submarine. Many depth charges were required in order to inflict enough cumulative damage to sink a submarine. Even then, Many U-boats survived hundreds of detonations over a period of many hours a Euro 678 depth charges were dropped against U-427 in April 1945. The depth charge, usually exploding at a distance from the submarine, had a cushion of water between it and the target which rapidly dissipated the explosive shock. The Hedgehog's contact charge, on the other hand, had the cushion on the other side, actually increasing the explosive shock. However, near misses with the Hedgehog did not cause cumulative damage as depth charges did. Nor did it have the same psychological effect as a depth charge attack. The Hedgehog became much more successful than depth charge attacks. It initially had a very poor record, although many of the factors had nothing to do with the design of the weapon. USS England sank six Japanese submarines in a matter of days with Hedgehog in May 1944. Former operators, United Kingdom, Royal Navy, United States, United States Navy. General Characteristics For a single bomb, caliber, 7 in, weight, 65 pounds, shell diameter, 7.2 inches, shell length, 3 feet 10.5 inches, explosive charge, 30 pounds TNT or 35 pounds torpex, range, about 250 yards, sinking speed, 22 to 23.5 feet per second, fuse, contact, high explosive, firing order, ripple in pairs, one every tenth of a second, reload time, three minutes. Equals variance equals, mark 10.
elliptical pattern measuring about 140 by 120 feet to a range of 200 yards. Mark 11, circular pattern measuring 200 feet in diameter out to a range of about 188 yards. Mark 15, pattern is for the Mark 11 but mounted on a platform adapted from that of a quadruple 40 mm Bofors gun mount. The Mark 15 could be fired remotely from the ship's plotting room. See also, Hedgerow, a land version of Hedgehog for exploding landmines is used on landing craft during the D-Day invasion. The Black Bombard and PIAT infantry anti-tank weapons and the Churchill AVRE's petard demolition gun also use the spigot discharger principle. USS Solar, accidentally destroyed by a dropped Hedgehog charge. Notes. External links, anti-submarine projector MKS-10 and 11.